In an ancient epoch of Earth's vast history, the lands of Tasmania and Victoria stood as separate tectonic entities. 500 million years ago, Victoria was a deep sea, slowly thrusting up due to tectonic collisions. Tasmania, which had existed as a microcontinent for over 1.6 billion years, would soon join the fold. And it was during this collision that the spectacular Yu Yangs were born. Today they tower over the flat land, and they're visible from distances quite far away. To the untrained eye, they might look like a stratovolcano, but the Yu Yangs are anything but that. In this video, we're going to discuss the Yu Yangs, how it was born, what processes were involved, and we'll discuss whether or not this was the site of a major volcanic eruption. As eons quietly passed, the stage was set for a dramatic convergence. Unseen forces orchestrated the grand collision between Tasmania and the southeastern part of Victoria. With immense power, the two landmasses collided 430 million years ago, shaking the very foundations of the Earth. The clash of these titanic entities sent shockwaves through the crust, causing rocks to buckle and fold under immense pressure. Vast mountain ranges rose from the depth, their majestic peaks reaching towards the heavens. The Brisbane Ranges, the mountains in and west of Wombat State Park, and any others that stretched north were all constructed during this event. And pre-existing mountains were further deformed and heightened in the process. Among them, the Grampians stood taller by its conclusion, with this event working to further elevate the already dramatic mountain, along with the heightening of other ancient mountain ranges in the west from the Pyrenees to those constructed by the same tectonic collision that produced the Ballarat Volcanic Arc, a testament to the incredible forces unleashed during the collision. The immense upwelling of magma was alongside the construction of mountains. This magma couldn't ever reach the surface to erupt due to the tremendous crustal thickening occurring as a byproduct of the continent-to-continent -continent collision. The reason for this is the inability of a tectonic plate to subduct when two continental plates meet. In this context, subduction can only occur if an oceanic plate meets with a continental plate. So rather than the mountains being a byproduct of subduction events, they are instead the byproduct of two grinding plates, which builds far more tremendous mountains and thickens the underlying crust than any subduction events do. So because this magma couldn't reach the surface, it eventually cooled to the point of solidification. Vast amounts of magma are still produced during these collisions, much like they would be in subduction events. But because this magma cannot reach the surface, owing to the thickening of the crust, it eventually cools to the point of solidification. And this is what happened to the Yuyangs. It was once a massive, churning magma chamber. It stretches way beyond where it currently outcrops. It's a colossal batholith. It would have been near or at a supervolcanic eruption if this magma chamber erupted, but it never did. It, along with many other magmatic entities that were just as large, if not larger, that were also a byproduct of the continent-to-continent -continent collision that occurred, that began 430 million years ago, and fizzled out around 360 million years ago, all solidified beneath the Earth. As the eons passed, the forces of erosion swept across the land, sculpting the landscape with their gentle touch. Wind, water, and ice worked tirelessly, removing the softer sedimentary rocks that once covered the erosion-resistant silica-rich granitic rocks at the Yuyangs, and over time, erosion worked much of the overlying sediments down, and several rifting events occurred, which thinned the crust here. One of the rift events that occurred near here is the one that produced the Port Phillip Sunklands, which is responsible for the creation of Port Phillip Bay. However, this is just one of many that have occurred in Victoria with the Antarctica-Australia separation being another. On the magnetics, I can trace the Yuyangs to the plate boundary where the collision between Victoria and Tasmania occurred. If you're a local, I recommend driving towards Ballarat and stopping right where this line is, and you'll see the marked transition where the mountains begin and the flat western volcanic plains end. It's around Bacchus Marsh. Today, the Yuyangs stand as a testament to the Earth's dynamic nature and the enduring power of geological forces. And as each new discovery and scientific revelation emerges, the story of the Yuyangs continues to unfold, reminding us of the ever-changing beauty and deep history embedded within the Earth's ancient embrace. So when you look at the Yuyangs, remember you're looking at an ancient magma chamber that's older than the dinosaurs and was once buried many kilometers deep within the Earth, beneath a massive ancient mountain range. What a truly incredible story. Thanks for watching.